He is the inimitable, self-believing Tony Ferguson, the number two ranked lightweight contender. He makes the walk tonight, owner of the longest winning streak in the illustrious history of this UFC lightweight division. And in terms of self-belief and creativity and, and all of his different skills and the legendary stories we hear in training, there may never be another El Cucu. He's a different guy. I've worked with him at Fox. I've spent time with him at the studio and his, these thoughts are the same. This is not an act from Tony Ferguson. This is who he is. He likes to be eccentric. He likes to be a little different because it's equal nothing but success. This young man is quickly becoming one of the most successful guys to ever come off the Ultimate Fighter. He gets a job done tonight. Not many guys have been champ, but the consistency that he has shown in the octagon is really unmatched by anybody else that's been on the show. And he has seen the level of competition. Kevin Lee hasn't seen the level of competition that Tony Ferguson has been in the octagon with. Well, my good friend Eddie Bravo has been spending time. He's Tony's jiu-jitsu coach. He's been spending time with him in Big Bear. He said Tony makes all of his own training equipment. He builds his own gym. He goes up to Big Bear. He rents a house and fills it with mats makes it all of his training equipment, runs the hills, runs laps around all of his training partners. He said he's never seen anybody with the kind of cardio and work ethic this guy has, that he's a freak. Now we know when we've seen him inside the octagon, he's incredibly unpredictable and creative. He's got a very unusual style, the way he moves, yeah. and he practices very unusual things. If you see some of his workouts, it's almost like he's breakdancing. I mean, a lot of what he does is like flowy sort of yoga type movements on top of that with explosive cardio movements, yeah. running, hill sprints, fantastic cardio. I mean, this guy can keep the pace for five rounds easy. I could watch him drill hip escapes for an hour, yeah. right? I mean, he's <laughs> that entertaining. Yeah, and he would do that too. <laughs> Probably for six hours. I'm kind of, John, I'm kind of surprised he took his glasses off. He never takes his glasses right. off. They got him to take him off tonight. No headphones on either. He, he wore his ankle weights to weigh in yesterday. What? Well, Tony Ferguson has been out nearly a year, not because he's been injured. He was to fight Khabib Nurmagomedov back at UFC 209 for this UFC interim title. That fight did not happen tonight. Tony Ferguson, and well-deserved, I might add, gets his first crack at a piece of the UFC goal.